Hello there, this is Fred, BinaryOptions.com. We are looking at the Euro US dollar with neutralize if you want, as I would like to trade both put and call options on the pair, with an emphasis more on the call side than the put side for next week. And I would like to bring, uh, to bring some arguments with that. We'll make a trading plan for the pair and we'll uh, alternate the expiration date in such a way in which we may be or we may end up being successful. Now, the thing is that the bounce that the pair made from these lows, from 110.94, so basically from 111 after the Greek elections here, so this bounce that we saw here is nothing but a corrective wave, a corrective wave that is being called a zigzag, a zigzag that traveled in a triangle for the B wave, And by the time the triangle has been broken in here, as you can see, by the time the triangle has been broken, it never looked back. Now, this zigzag goes all the way from here. This would be wave A. The B wave is the triangular formation. Then the C wave goes all the way to here. It means that the zigzag actually ended in here. So it started in here and ended all the way here. Now, if this is an ABC, then we should go and take a 61.8 retracement, so in here like this. We should go and take a 61.8, let's go if, let's see if we mark the highs there, yes, like this. A 61.8 from the lows in here and like this to the highs as this would be a nice place to go and actually start to buy call options on the pair as we have two possibilities here either this is nothing but an A, B, C, a wave A of a triangle of a bigger degree but I suspect that this is the A, only wave A like this, let's make it in uh, blue then we mandatory need a B wave below 61.8, even even lower, but mandatory below 61.8. If you look at the 61.8, comes at 1.1244, so this would be the B way. That would be a nice place to go and buy call options on the pair, anywhere between, let's say, 1.1220, 1.1180-something for a B way and then to look for an impulsive move to come for us, you have to take these highs here it's not mandatory to take the, these highs, it depends very much on the retracement level on, on the B wave but it should not go below 1.11 so this would be a C wave in here, so A, B, C, end to end this one to end the wave A of a bigger degree So we're looking for something like this, a move to the downside, then an impulsive move in A, B, C, and then to, let's say that the market should go something like uh, 115, maybe even 115.50, maybe even 116, depending on the nature of this triangle here. What I'm trying to say is that there is still room for consolidation, and this to be only wave A of a bigger degree, and then a B wave and so on and so forth. So I would like to buy put options at the opening on Monday. Ideally, market will go and stay here in the bearish territory all week, and then from this area to go something like this, and then to settle for the for the next week and at that level. So something like this. Let's write here that number one or the first thing to do, looking to buy put options by the time markets are opening on Monday with end of week expiration day and then number two I'm looking to actually buy call options by the time markets by the time price comes into the 
1.1180 area this would be a nice place for a bounce from my point of view that's pretty much the plan let's see if the market will confirm thank you and bye bye